Hello everybody. Exciting times. I want to introduce you to a brand new course. Not just a brand new course, but a new style of course. This course is called How to Write Trailer Music and it does exactly what it says on the tin. Is there a gap between that? There's and... always gaps. You need to have gaps wherever you can, just so that an editor can come along with their scissors and go, right, cut, sure. cut, 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 cut. And frequently, editors will piece your track together with some other track from a different publisher. You have to give them as many options as possible. Even a single hit, you've built it out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven layers. <laughs> it's it's over the top. It's a bit silly, um, but it got the sound I wanted. It's all about layering. It has to fill the whole frequency because in cinema, you know, you got the big speakers. Is it brass or is it in effect? Yeah, you know, because this is very close to a bra. I remember doing some hits and the sound source was me hitting my sofa with a flip-flop. That was the, the original sound source. Yeah, I think you, you also need to put your own spin on it. It will just set you apart from everyone else who was just reaching for the same old libraries that we can all afford and we can all get these days. You always have to go the extra mile, particularly in trailers, and really have to focus in on every detail. The production levels have got to be really, really high. I wanted to know a little bit more about you, actually. Choose from one of these four. A. Okay, you've chosen to take a walk on the wild side. You will learn a lot more about music technology and a lot more about your door just by doing the course. Ah, it works course. over the drone, which acts as the pedal, so harmonically it fits. There's enough movement to make it interesting. Not sure I would have chosen A. You're going to be able to do that by the time you get to the end of this course. Then make your choice, make your choice, and make your choice now. When I say a new style, of course, what I mean is we're trying a whole load of stuff in there. We're adding a great deal of extra stuff to make the whole learning experience more fun and more effective. For example, there's going to be a Discord community where you'll be able to share um, your creations and get feedback from your peers. We're introducing a, a new form of technology, interactive video, which we are really excited about, which is a completely new kind of learning experience. And we're rolling up minus one, which is um, where it's going to help you apply what you've learned and build a track in a structured and entertaining way. Now, I'll explain what all the, how all those things work in a little bit, but first of all, we want to get on to the sort of nitty gritty, the stuff you really want to know, starting with who are you learning from? Because that's a really crucial part of any um, learning experience. Well, obviously, you know us. We don't mess about, do we? Okay, um, Harry Lightfoot, what's he done? What hasn't he done? Um, uh, Top Gun Maverick, Pinocchio, Encanto, Soul, Avengers, Endgame, the list goes on and on. Uh, we're going to be taking one of his tracks and breaking it down in forensic detail so you can see exactly what it takes to score a AAA trailer. Really exciting stuff. Um, Ed Cox, who's a trailer composer with Louder Music based in Los Angeles. Um, Ed's over here in the UK. Um, but he's in the hot seat. He's our course demonstrator. He's going to be the guy who has to sit there and come up with the string ostinatos, the synth pulses, the signature sounds, the epic percussion. He and I sit here and he creates incredible stuff. Uh, and so that you'll be able to see over his shoulder exactly how a professional trailer composer goes about doing their work. We've got Dan Graham, who's the founder of Gothic Storm, uh, one of the UK's top uh, trailer libraries. And he'll be explaining you know, from his perspective, what the market needs right now, what people are looking for, what you can do to get into the industry, to get started. I mean, those are just some of the people we've got involved. We've got um, Tim Johnson from Cinematic Mixing, who's mixed more trailers than you've had hot dinners. Andrea Posse, composer from Gothic Storm, uh, Bradley Jordan, and of course me. Uh, so it's a... <laughs> I was going to say all stuff, cars. But I just said me, and that probably takes the wind out of that particular sale. Anyway, let's cut back to the chase. What exactly are you going to learn? It breaks down into six um, sections. Um, we start with, when I say overview, what I mean is 
you know, it's a look at the workflow. It's a look at the structure of trailers. You must have heard, you know, people talking about this kind of, you know, how trailers are, uh, are put together. And that's really evolved a lot in the last few years. So there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. Um, part two, strings and synths. String ostinatos, um, those soaring lead lines, uh, synth, uh, synth drones, synth bubbling pulses, all the stuff which uh, you hear a lot in trailer music. Part three, epic percussion. You know, there's more to it than just lo loading up an epic percussion pad and going, boom. Uh, it's you know patched. There's a lot to programming percussion and how to put it in, and you'll be learning all about that. Crucially, part four: sound design and effects. How do you come up with those signature sounds that drive? Uh, so many trailers forward and make the difference between getting the job and not getting the job. So we'll be doing that in real time and showing you how all that goes together. Um, part five, what we thought would be really important is to put it all together, to show you, you know, a small section of the trailer being composed in its entirety, top to bottom, not just it, it, how all these elements blend together to make uh, a really compelling uh, piece of music. And finally, of course, you know, a piece of music is nothing unless it's mixed and mastered, and that's what we end up with. We do some mixing and mastering so that you can see how uh, the whole thing goes together. Right, but how does this course work? That's more to the point. Well, if you think about how you learn, we've um, tried to replicate that in the way we've structured each part of this course. We begin by explaining things, then we demonstrate how you do them, then it's up to you. You go out there and you apply what you've learned to your own music. And finally, we try and find out if you've actually learned what we intended you to learn at the start. So this is the sort of process of learning. It's a great deal more than just uh, a series of, you know, a playlist of video tutorials. And, you know, education is more than a, a, a list of um, um, video tutorials and we're trying to sort of up the game here a bit as you can I hope you can probably see. Um, one of the ways we're going to do that is this. Um, we've developed our own interactive video platform. Um, it, once you see it in action you really get to grips with how we hope it's going to enhance your learning experience, make it more engaging, more personalised. You know, so you make choices and that's you get feedback on those choices in essence. Um, We've used it in lots of different ways. We use it in assessment, where we, we use it to explore creative possibilities. We use it just for a bit of fun sometimes. So there's quite a lot of interactive video in this um, course. And I think, you know, we re it's the first time we've rolled it out at scale. Uh, and we'd be really interested in hearing, you know, what you think about it. Another <clears throat> quite important innovation is uh, what we've called minus one. Um, now, one of the things with quite a lot of courses is you're sort of left to your own devices when it comes to actually doing it. Everybody explains it and demonstrates it and they say, go do it. I go, yeah, how am I supposed to do that? You know, I just can't do that. I can't leap into life. I'm... Anyway, what minus one is, um, is imagine you're learning string ostinati, how to do a string ostinato. What we give you is a complete trailer track missing one essential element, the string ostinato. So you'll have the complete track and you have to provide the string ostinato which fits in with that track. So you get the satisfaction of hearing your string ostinato in context, in the whole thing, doing its whole wonderful schmoozy wow crash bang wallop stuff. So it's not just a string ostinato by itself. We're not dropping you in the deep end and say, do everything at once. Then you move on to the next section. So you're doing epic hybrid percussion. So you've got all the elements of the track minus the epic percussion. So then you write the percussion. As you go through section by section, what you're also doing is building up your own track because all the pieces you're doing fit with the given track. So from a template, you're essentially using this musical creative scaffolding to hold your creativity together to get you to the end line, you know, first time through. So you've got a much, much better chance of succeeding. Do you see how that's going to work? Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's going to be great. Finally, of course, um, we want to make sure that you have actually acquired the skills which we intended you to acquire at the start. So, you know, we start thinking, what do we want the students to be able to do by the time they finish this course? And at the end of each module, uh, each section, we go back and use quizzes, interactive video, all kinds of other things to try and make sure that you are where we hope you would be, okay? It's pretty exciting. I'm really, really excited about this. Can you tell? <laughs> Okay, um, dive in there. Have a go. Um, I hope this will be 
you know, a really new type of entertaining learning experience. And I just personally can't wait to hear what you lot are going to come up with. Uh, so I'll be jumping into the Discord community from time to time to have a little listen, as will you know, some of the others as well. So look, um, do come and join us. I can't wait to see what you think of this new type of course. And uh, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.